Hi, welcome to Robojax. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use this HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor with this display, which is TM1673. So, as you can see, it's a 7 centimeter, 15 centimeter, or higher. So, you can see the value directly on the display. The code will be provided by clicking at the description, which you can go to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. So you will get the code. And also I have separate video for this one, how it works. And I have separate video for this one. But even with that, I have explained as much as possible here. So let's get started. So I've connected the trigger, the trigger pin, which is blue to pin 12 and then echo pin green to the pin 11. And then we have ground yellow is connected to the ground here. And then the, the VCC here, the red is connected to the five volts. So this is the first step. So let me explain the display here. So the display has four pens. This use with the I2C communication protocol. So here they're all label, labeled clearly and very easily. So we have clock, data, and then VCC and ground. VCC is connected to 5 volts, ground is connected to the ground or uh, zero voltage, and then clock and uh, data output. For this project, I've connected the uh, clock to the pin 2, and data output, which is pin wi white, is to 3. So this is connected here, 5 volts and ground is connected there. When you click on the description to get the code, this is the library for the display. You just uh, click and then download and save it in your computer. And also here you come and then this is for the ultrasonic sensor. Click on download and from here you click download it, which I'm going to show you next how you add it. Or if you go directly to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino, you will see this page and this is this ultrasonic distance sensor with Arduino. You will come to this page. The code is here, but here are the links. So you can get the library from Robojax for the ultrasonic sensor and the library from Robojax for the display TP1637. And also I've provided a link for GitHub if in case you want to get from the original official websites. So once you download that, you have to add two libraries together on your Arduino to make it work. So, so you go for fi uh, sketch, include library, and click add zip. I have already included it, but I'm going to try to show you here. So go to the where you have downloaded. In my case, it's in download and inside the li uh, Arduino. And here, this is the first one that you can get. 1637 master and so click on that and say open it will be added it says already exist now go here again for the sketch include library and then zip again go to the downloads Arduino and this time download the new ping so this will be the ultrasonic sensor will be under the new ping. Select open and you see it says already exist. And that's it. You will be done. Then copy this code and paste it and it will work. In both cases, you can open separate code to just run the ultrasonic sensor or just run the display. But this is the combined one. So here is the code for the TM1637 display module, the seventh segment. The, code, the link will be provided, so this is the original link and also will be provided on robojax.com. I have created another video for this. So this is for Arduino and this is for the actual module. This is the header file and then there is the .cpp which has all the functions. So you, so you will connect the clock to the pin 2 or you change it accordingly between 2 to 13, whatever digital pin that you want to use. So this is a data input and this is the delay between the reading. So two seconds, so if you can, you want to reduce it or make it faster. So let's say 500 milliseconds. And this is the constructor that creates initial object. 
and runs and it creates display inside the setup we don't have anything inside the loop these are the important lines that describes how this display works this is the address that is sent you see display set brightness 0x that's hexadecimal 0x means that's hexa value and these are the two bytes that we have so that f means 15 so that's the maximum brightness so it sets the brightness if you want to reduce it put a hex value between 0 to f and these are hex for four digits these are zero you're you're storing it as an array in data and we say set segment data so it makes it all clear so zero values and then here this is the value that you send show number decimal the number of digits display is 23 if you want to go up to three digits so let's put the three digits because we are going to three digits false is the number of zeros so don't worry about it so the only thing that you need to change is for now we are printing this 23 and then test delay we are waiting this much seconds which is 500 milliseconds so let me upload the code so let me upload the code it should just print 23 as you can see here a little blank shows that every half a second so if I say 245 upload the code it will just print that code for me now let's use it with this so we can display the distance here so go to the code to file example new ping and then from here we have multiple examples new ping example new ping sensor so click on new ping example so this is the header the main file that once you download the library this will be included so the trigger pin uh, from the module we have trigger pin which I'm going to show you again so you will connect the 12 here and then echo pin will be connected to 11 the maximum this dis maximum distance that you will be working just put it here and according to this documentation here it says 400 to 500 centimeter so you can enter anything between those ranges and after that we are just uh, from this constructor we are just putting all those passing the value the pen the echo pen and the maximum distance and then it will just initiate that inside the setup we have only this uh, value for the serial monitor so we will set our serial monitor at this rate so it, it can print the value on the screen after that here it says a delay 50 that's 50 millisecond and here it says 50 millisecond which is about 20 times a second and here is the important thing it says you you should not go lower than this so 29 is the shortest one so that was 50 so you can go up to 30 or 29 then after that this just prints the word ping on the screen and this is the method that calls the measurement in centimeter and then this just prints the centimeter cm added. so it will be printed as one text the print and these two lines are print and this is ln or new line so this will create a new line so every time it measures all these three values will be printed in one line as you can see it shows 10 centimeter 9 centimeter so it's very precise it just fluctuates between 15 and 16 so here is a combined code with both the ultrasonic sensor and the display I've put here this portion that explains from here to here everything is about the display which I'm gonna comment it later and this is as before so this was the uh, ultrasonic sensor I've just added the code for the display in this area so you know it 
inside the setup has not changed so this was for the ultrasonic sensor I just added the display so this portion is here so the only change that you see is here the distance that I mentioned here I get the distance from ultrasonic as an integer and stores it in the distance variable then this is a text that is just presenting us on the screen but actual this variable is holding the distance that is changing and here display dot show this which is showing decimal and decimal number and that distance is printed here and I put here three because I know the maximum distance will be three digits and then the five uh, 50 millisecond is the same as before nothing has changed as now the project is connected to three so this is a ultrasonic sensor uh, connected here and also the display and as you can see it perfectly works the fluctuation be between some value that you see is either my hand is shaking or the value goes between the two for example this can go between 6 and 5 it could be that it's 5.5 and 6 it doesn't show the decimal so this was introduction to using this ultrasonic HCSR04 with the display thank you for watching please thumb up the video please share it and subscribe if you want to get updates for my upcoming cool projects and videos I appreciate it